Hello, I'm Nastasia Grimm and I'm a postdoctoral researcher working in the group of Cluny. Have you always been interested in science, Nastasia? Yes, certainly. So as a kid, I really loved watching documentaries about nature and science. And I would say my first big love was mathematics. So I was always really interested in logical puzzles. And then later as a teenager, I participated at the Mathematical Olympiad. Within this Olympiad, there were several disciplines. And what I enjoyed the most were the geometrical problems. So for that, we would typically get a certain set of instructions, so how to construct some triangles and lines and circles. And then within that, within that constellation, you would have to find some very specific properties. So this kind of problem doesn't necessarily have a lot of real life application, but I found a lot of beauty in it. So for me, I would say that mathematics is truly a form of art. But if you love mathematics so much, how did you end up choosing cosmology as your research field? Well, cosmologists use mathematics all the time. It's one of our everyday life tools. In particular, our current understanding of the evolution of the universe is based on the theory of general relativity. So the famous theory that was developed by Albert Einstein. General relativity, roughly speaking, describes the curvature and geometry of space and time. And it is built on the it is so it's built on the mathematical field of differential geometry. So as you can see, my love for geometry did enter here. Moreover, cosmology itself is a really exciting and fascinating research field. I think it's quite natural for mankind to try and find out as much as possible about the universe that we live in. And now is really the best epoch of doing so, because with our advances in technology, we are building better and better telescopes. Soon, our newest telescopes will be able to measure or observe up to a billion of galaxies, and many of them are billions of years old. And this opens a lot of fascinating possibilities to try and solve some mysteries in our universe. Hopefully, the other videos on this channel will give you some insights about that. But for now, what I can summarize is that it's truly a great time for being a cosmologist. What do you enjoy the most about being a scientist? For me, the great part is really the creative process and the fact that what you create just with your mind, so your thoughts and your ideas, they really matter a lot. Here at the University of Geneva, we have a great research group and what I perceive as a very productive work atmosphere. Everyone's thoughts and ideas and concerns are listened to. So we can sit down together, discuss together, learn from each other and develop approaches to tackle unresolved research questions. And after a while, so maybe after just a few weeks, maybe after months, sometimes after years, this process leads to a finished piece of research, which can then be published in a scientific journal. It's truly satisfying to see such a finished piece of research and read your name on it and know that you made a vital contribution to this. I think that's a kind of satisfaction that is quite difficult to find somewhere else. What are the downsides of being a scientist? Well, as great as it is, of course, science comes to some disadvantages, as everything in life. Currently, I'm a postdoctoral researcher. This means that I have finished all my studies, including my doctoral studies, and I am now employed at the university as a full-time scientist. I enjoy my current position a lot. But one thing that I noticed when I talked to it, um, with friends outside of academia is that they are quite surprised about one thing. And that is that my position is not permanent. You see, science works a lot different than most other career paths. After your PhD, so after your doctoral studies, you typically have only very short contracts of about two or three years length. Then you will need to apply for a new position and that will typically be in a different country or even in another continent. So, if you're successful with the application process, it means that you will need to find a new place to live, find a new health insurance, get a new residence permit, find a new childcare place for your child, and so on. 
At the end of this process, you wish to acquire a permanent position, but there are only quite a few of them. So even if you are really good, there is never the guarantee that you will succeed. To summarize, science is great and gives you a lot of unique experiences, but there are of course a lot of personal sacrifices. Which changes would you like to see in the future? So if I look outside of the academic world, I see that many of the top companies compete for the best employees by offering the best working conditions. And this approach seems to work quite well for them. In fact, lots of really smart researchers are lured by these companies and are willing to quit their academic jobs. So now I'm thinking, wouldn't it be better for science and for the quality of the scientific work that we achieve if we would also ameliorate the working conditions within academia? I think one way of doing so would be to, to reduce the expectations for mobility. Nowadays, scientists have plenty of possibilities to connect with re other researchers from all over the world without necessarily having to move every two or three years. Another thing that I would really love to see in this world is that every country or at least every university would offer enough parental leave and enough childcare places. This might seem like a quite far away goal, but I think it's important that we keep on voicing our demands for equal opportunity. What do you personally want to achieve in the future? So I would say in the long run, I just have one main goal, which is to live a happy life. You might say I'm avoiding the question a little bit, this is not a very specific goal. So science is of course great and I love what I'm doing right now. It's truly one of the things that I love most about my current life. But of course you do not know for sure if it will work out in the future. However, what I can say for sure is that I will pursue an interesting career, whichever exactly it will be, and I will put my skills and experiences to very good use. Personally, it's a better approach to trust your abilities rather than having a very particular goal in mind. However, right now I am involved in several very interesting research projects. So for the um, more near future, my goal is to create some more research work. And I really hope that you will keep on following this YouTube channel to learn more about it.